What's up? I'm going to let you guys trickle in before I start talking because this is important. So waiting for you guys to get here. So normally I do final thoughts and I do Instagram lives and I do rants about politics. Um, there's plenty to talk about in politics right now. Do it every day. It's a great time. But something as of recently has been on my mind and I consider myself a teacher, a helper, um, someone who could possibly inspire people to be better. So with that being said, this is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. This is gonna be the summer of canceling boys. Now, from my own personal experiences and the experiences of all of my friends, which range in age from 24 to 36, we've all got issues. Now, I will also say this, all of my friends are attractive. All of my friends are successful. All of my friends have something going on. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. And you have to start looking at that and thinking, if an age range of that many people, including myself, living really all over the country and being blonde, brunette, short hair, long hair, I mean, tan, super white, super pale. I mean, these women range in every body type and every everything. They're all successful, they're all intelligent, they're all good people. But if all of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you, it might be men, it might be men. Now, I've often talked about the pussification of America and how men are no longer men. I talked to my mom about this a lot and she says, well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas. Maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. Maybe it's just the guys, just the guys. Um, it is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country in the age range of about 20 to I think about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. A lot of men don't know how to treat women. A lot of men don't know how to really, quite frankly, pull their heads out of the sand and pay attention. So I am going to help you. And these are some of the things that I've experienced. And these are some of the things my friends have experienced. I, again, I'm just going to lay a few things out. They haven't all happened to me. Some of them have just happened to my friends. A lot of them have happened to me. So the first thing, and I've made notes, by the way, I've made notes. This is how invested I am in this because I've been thinking about this for about two weeks solid now. First question for men. If you like a girl, if you're even somewhat interested in a girl, you need to ask yourself this question. Are you single? No, I don't mean are you kind of single, seeing five people, dating somebody, still kind of in a relationship, kind of broken up, kind of on again, off again, kind of married, kind of divorced. Are you actually single, single? That means single. You have nobody. You have no complications. You have no attachments. You are actually single. That is the first question, believe it or not, that needs to be asked. And ladies, you should be asking it because in 2020, it's not a given anymore that a guy that's actively pursuing you is actually single. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing that I think is very important that men don't seem to understand. There are very few women out there, and I'm speaking from personal experience as well as from all of my friends and all the women, quite frankly, that I talk to. There is not a woman out there that wants to be your pen pal. She doesn't want to get your texts. Your good morning texts, your good night texts, your random through the day texts, if they don't follow up with a plan to actually, here's the kicker, in person hang out. Now I know what you're saying, oh, it's COVID, people can't hang out in person. This has not been a four month problem. This has been a five year problem that I've experienced with men and my friends have experienced with men. Women do not want a pen pal. We don't want a texting pal. We quite frankly don't care if you text us all day or if you don't text us at all. If you're not gonna make a plan to actually see us in person, not interested. And if you do have a woman out there that just wants to be your pen pal, it's probably because she has a boyfriend or a husband or a wife or whatever. We don't want a pen pal. But that also leads me to my second point. This is gonna be backwards for you guys. Make plans. Make a plan. Do not assume that you can text somebody randomly in the middle of the day 
what are you doing? Or text them at midnight or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Or even just within hours of when you actually want to see them and think that they're going to be available. I personally, once I get home and I take my makeup off and I'm watching TV, I'm no longer interested. So if you didn't make a plan earlier in the day or better yet, a day or two or three in advance, I'm not interested. I don't want to hang out anymore because that ship has sailed. Make a plan. I want to hang out with you at this time. It doesn't have to even be a date. I want to see you at this time. Are you free at this time? Or when are you free? I will accommodate my schedule to see you. When are you free? I want to see you. I know it's not rocket science, but men of 2020, it seems like it's pretty difficult for you to figure out. And I'm not a feminist, so please don't take this as a feminist rant. I love men. I think men are great. I think men have failed themselves and they failed us. And I'm just trying to help you out because I think there are a lot of really great guys out there who need a little help. And I don't think that there are a lot of women that are stepping up and saying these things and not FaceTime me, I swear to God. Quite frankly, I don't think that there are a lot of women that aren't raging feminists that don't look like Lena Dunham. They're saying these things to you. So I'm going to go ahead and say them because they need to be said. I am really so sick of my friends having to deal with trash men. I am tired of dealing with trash men. So I'm going to help you out. Make plans. So let's go through these lists again because I know y'all love a list. Number one, are you single? Number two, make a plan. Nobody wants a pen pal. We want to actually see you. If not, don't text us because it's a waste of our time and we don't want to see it on our phones. Got it? All right. Next thing, value, value. Okay, value, value. Take that in. Just repeat it to yourself until it makes sense. Okay, if you want to date a girl that has nothing going on, then that's fine. But please do not mix in people like me and my friends who have something going on with your other girls that have nothing going on. And by nothing going on, I mean this. I don't, there is no job that is unimportant. There is no job that's not valuable or that's not worthy, it is. But if you wanna mix in people like me and people like my friends who are go-getters, who work really hard, who make their own money, who are talented, skilled, ambitious, please don't mix us in with the Tatianas. We don't wanna be there. If that's what you want, find them. Please, for the love of God, do not mix us in with them because we don't want to be there. And quite frankly, we take it as an insult if we find out that you are also talking to five Tatianas who have nothing going on. People like me and my friends are gonna be insulted by that. And there's almost really no coming back from it. So if you want that kind of a girl, the kind of girl who's just kind of happy going through the motions of life, not really super ambitious, hasn't really found herself yet, doesn't really have a whole lot going on other than she's pretty, please just go after them and please do not mix us in. We don't want to be there. I promise you. So value, value. There's a lot of women out there that I know that are my good friends who have amazing jobs, who work really hard, but who can't seem to find a decent guy, even if they go up in age five to 10 to 15 years, because those guys all want to be with 21 year olds who have nothing going on. It's very unfortunate. I don't think it's going to be fulfilling, but I would say to the men out there, try to maybe find a woman that you can talk to, communicate with, might actually have her shit together, might actually be ambitious and have something going on or want to have something going on. I don't care what she does. She doesn't have to be on TV. She doesn't have to be a PhD. She doesn't have to be a television producer. She doesn't have to own her own company, but be ambitious and have something going on. Those women out there are going to be a lot more fulfilling to you. You're actually going to enjoy your time. And if you actually might want a sustainable and healthy and stable relationship, that's probably the kind of girl you're gonna need to find. Not the Tatianas who just wanna look cute and post Instagram stories. Now, I love a good Instagram story. Y'all know I do. I love a good boomerang. I love a good whatever. But if that's all you do, men, if that's all she does, probably Houston, we have a problem. I'm just gonna let you in on a little tip. The next thing on my list is this, consistency. It really does not help me or my friends or any woman in general if you are really cool and you're really interested when you first start talking to them and then give it three, four, five days and all of a sudden you're not consistent anymore. You don't make plans. You don't really care. You kind of fade in and out. You're talking to five other Thoughtianas. 
Consistency is important. Now, if you want to be inconsistent and you want to ghost and you want to fall off the radar, that's fine, but I'm going to give you a pro tip. People like me and people like my friends, we aren't going to really give a shit after that. We don't really care. The Fs have been given and we're kind of done. I'll tell you this from personal experience. Once I'm turned off, I am turned off and I don't care anymore. Because at one point, I probably did care. At one point, my friends, they probably did care. They probably did like you because you expressed interest and maybe you were cool and maybe you were kind of fun to hang out with. But if you're not consistent and you fall off the radar, I give you maybe one to two chances to fix that because I'm a very direct communicator. Women, this is important. I will communicate to you. If your communication isn't great, I will let you know that. I will let you know that more effort is needed. But if you don't heed that warning and I have to warn you twice, I'm done at that point. I don't really care anymore. Now I'm done. Now I don't care. And I know my friends who are watching this are thinking and saying the same thing because we have these conversations on an almost daily basis. Once you turn us off, we don't care anymore. So let that be a warning to you. You're probably not going to circle back. They always come back. They always come back. But when you're ready to come back, I probably don't care anymore. So if you want to switch up, stay there. Pro tip. My last thing on my list is also very important. Don't be, excuse my language, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. If you have then failed and you lost a woman of value like myself or my friends, and then we don't really care anymore, don't be a bitch. Don't be butt hurt. You did it to yourself, okay? And it's no longer my problem. Now it's become a personal problem of yours. So don't be a bitch. And by the way, if I'm no longer interested because your effort is shitty, that's not me being a bitch. That's not me being difficult. That's me having a standard in which I expect from people. I do have high standards and high expectations. My friends have high standards and high expectations. Do you wanna know why? We've worked for those, okay? We work hard, we're successful, we take care of ourselves, we try to look cute, we, or we have a, a desire to be something more each day, okay? That's why we have the ability to be somewhat what you call difficult. It's not difficult. We just have a baseline standard. And if you can't meet that standard, that's okay. A lot of men cannot. But if you are one of those men out there, and I, I have them all over my DMs. Sometimes I check them, and you guys are like, what would it take to be with someone like you? What would it take to be with your friends? What are girls like you? What are they looking for? I laid them out for you very simply there. In order to have a shot with a girl like me or girls like my friends, girls that are worth a damn, you don't really have to be Brad Pitt. You don't have to be famous. You don't even really have to make a lot of money or have a really fantastic job. You just have to be determined. You have to be in some way successful in that you wanna attain some certain kind of success for yourself, you're driven, you have goals, you can handle a woman with standards, that's not gonna turn you off, and you're gonna put in the effort to be with somebody like myself or my friends. We deserve that, and we will not compromise our standards. I tell you this, it will be a cold day in hell when I chase a man. And I know that's the same thing for my friends as well. And if my friends are listening and they're thinking about chasing a man, please, for the love of God, do not. Because there is not, not one single man on planet Earth, okay, that is worth making any woman feel like she is not good enough. I don't care how hot a girl is, how smart, how successful, how rich. We have all dealt with men who treat us like we are not good enough. No, the problem is we are too enough and you can't handle it. So those are my checklists. Again, I will go through them for you one more time in case you are just tuning in. Number one, are you single? No, really. Two, make plans. We don't want a pen pal. Three, value, value. Value someone who has value. Consistency, be consistent. Don't be great and then fade out. And then don't fade out and then think that you're gonna fade back in because it ain't gonna work. And last but not least, if all else fails, don't be a bitch. Hope you guys have all enjoyed my PSA, my Instagram Live. I love you all. Hope I gave you some valuable tips and advice. But hey, those are just my final thoughts from Nashville, Tennessee in my kitchen. God bless and take care.
Mm-hmm.